Good news to you all. I'm Priscilla. Good news, and I'm with Ba. I'm with Bal there. Wow. Welcome to Story Time. Are you ready to tell a story, Bal? Yeah, I'm ready. Wow, absolutely amazing. I'm excited to share a story with you today. Which story do you think we're going to read today? Take a guess. Hmm. I know what it is. Of course, you know what it is. Well, it's a story where Jesus performed. A miracle, right? Yeah. Well, and that miracle had to do with the fish and some loaves of bread, right? Yeah. Do you know what story it is? Oh, I'm excited. Glory be to God. Wow. Glory be to Jesus, the King of Kings. I honor my Father, His Excellency, Ambassador Hubert Angel. Thank you so much, Prophet, for this opportunity. Wow. Thank you so much. We love you. Oh yes, absolutely. And the story is coming from Matthew 14. Mark 6, Luke 9, and John 6. Jesus sent his disciples out to teach the people about the coming of God's kingdom. When they returned, they wanted to tell him about everything they had seen and heard and done. But people were coming and going all around them. The disciples didn't even have time to eat. <sighs> Jesus saw how very tired and hungry they were, and he said. Let's go away by ourselves so you can rest. They were near the Sea of Galilee, so they all got into a boat and sailed toward the other side. But the crowds of people saw where they were going. They ran along the shore, so they reached the other side, even before Jesus and his disciples. Wow! Wow! Jesus stepped out of the boat and saw all the people. His heart hurt for them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began to heal their sick and to teach them. Wow! Glory be to God! Wow! Absolutely. Now the place where Jesus was teaching was out in the country and away in the towns. So when evening came, the disciples went to Jesus and said, "This place is a wilderness, and it's already late." Send the people away so they can go into the villages and buy food for themselves. They don't need to go away, Jesus said. You give them something to eat. But Philip, one of the disciples, said it would take much to feed these people, for there were about five thousand men gathered, as women and children. Wow, that would take a lot, right? Yeah, that would take a lot to feed them. That would take a lot to feed them. After searching, one of his disciples, named Andrew, who was Peter's brother, said, "There's a boy here who has five loaves and two fish. But how can we feed so many people with so little?" Jesus simply said, "Bring them here to me." So Jesus said to the disciples, "Have the people sit down in groups." The people sat down and waited to see what would happen. Jesus took the five loaves and the two fish. Then, looking up to heaven, he gave thanks for them. He broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. Jesus divided the fish among all the people. Wow! Absolutely amazing! Absolutely amazing! Everyone ate as much as they wanted, and all the disciples picked up twelve baskets full of leftover pieces, all from five small loaves and two fish. Wow! Absolutely amazing. That is an amazing story, right, Bao? Wow! That's awesome. Wow! Wow! We see multiplication there. Wow! That's absolutely amazing. It doesn't matter how little you have. Jesus can multiply that. Pray about it, and Jesus will multiply it. Miracles are still happening today. Wow! We thank God. Wow! Absolutely amazing story. Well, that's it for today. We're not out of good news. We're just out of time, and we thank our Father, His Excellency, Ambassador Hubert Angel, and Madame Bibi Angel for this amazing opportunity to read you this story. Well, stay tuned, and until next time, bye. <laughs>
praising for nobody, nobody, no. We are not afraid of nobody, nobody, because God has made us into somebody, somebody. Praise to the most high, wherever we go, go, go. We walk through the fire, we never go low, low, low. When Jesus say yes, yes, then who can say no, no, no? When we decree one thing, He has made it double. Oh. We never stumble, stumble, because He lifted us. We fear no trouble, trouble, because You made us win. We know His plan is to prosper us, cause He will never forsake us, no, no, He will never forsake us, no. Oh, we won't stop praising for nobody, nobody, no. We won't stop praising for nobody, nobody, no. We are not afraid of nobody, nobody, because God has made us into somebody, somebody. Sing hallelujah, The milk and the honey is flowing, it's fine We belong to a king, we're fine He will forever shine his light He will forever shine his light So, we can never stumble, stumble Because he lifted us We fear no trouble, trouble Because you lifted us We know his plan is to prosper us Cause he will never forsake us, no No, he will never forsake us, no Oh, we won't stop praising for nobody Nobody, no, we won't stop praising for nobody, nobody, no, we are not afraid of nobody, nobody, because God has made us into somebody, somebody, sing For nobody, nobody, no We are not afraid of nobody, nobody Because God has made us into somebody, somebody Sing hallelujah, hallelujah, the visionary, the commander-in-chief, prophet, Yuvin, angel, and acknowledging my mother, the president of Guinea's world, the Baroness Budeza, prophetess Beverly Angel. Today we would like to recite our Bible verse, Psalms 91 verse 1 to 16. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foulest snares and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. And His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrows that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys by midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you, for you will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, and even the Lord who is your refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways.
They will, they will lift, lift you up in their hands, so you, you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample on the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will deliver him and honor him. I will be with him in trouble. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Happy birthday, Mom! We love Thank you! Good news to you. My name is Nathaniel. Today, I would like to share to you one of the many things that has happened to me since I have joined Spirit Embassy. This year of Milk and Honey, I have received two awards from the football club I play for. One is an award given by the coaches. The coaches player and the second award is Players Player. It is when you are nominated by your teammates. I thank God for giving me the strength, skills and ability to achieve this award. And I would like to thank and honour my man of God, the prophet to Christianity, Prophet Yuma Angel, for teaching me to know who I am in Christ Jesus. Thank you for upgrading my life. Good news to you. Good news, good news to you all. My name is Susanna and I'm part of the Preteens and Teens Birmingham branch. I would like to take this time to honour my spiritual father, the CIC Prophet Yuba Angel. I thank you so much, sir, for answering the calling of God. Christianity has been very meaningful and has brought completeness into my life and my family's life. All because of the revelation, the wisdom and the teachings. I am so blessed to be a part of the days of Prophet Yuba Angel. Thank you so much, sir. And I would also like to take this time as well to honour my spiritual mother, the president of Good News World. Thank you so much, Prophetess Beverly Angel, for your wonderful teachings and prayers. I am so blessed to be chosen by God to be a part of the Upgrading Revelation Church, where my life has been changed and catapulted into higher dimensions. Join Spirit Embassy to witness the miracles and wonders at where it has been performed in different fashion where God is truly living. I promise you today that your life will never be the same again. Join Spirit Embassy and good news to you all. Bye bye. Whoa, what's that? You've never seen this? No, tell me about it. Well, this is the Teens Good News Gazette. It has a lot of things, including news from all over the good news world, hot topics, test story times, and even snippets of the revelation from a man of God. Oh my God, where do I get one? This can be available at your local branch. So, what are you waiting for? Get yours today. Good, good news to you. you.